Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am digging in to my little basket of shame that I actually have noticed that I haven't put everything in that I haven't tried. But today I am doing a get ready with me and I am going to do a look with a California Love from Colourpop. And I don't know why but I just want to do it with this. So this is the California Love. It looks like this. It has 12 colors. And it is a kind of neutral palette. I bought this because I saw, I think it was on Instagram, that this was a dupe for the Rust palette from Melt. And uh, this is a lot cheaper, so I will try this. And I don't know what I will do. The only thing is like one really orange in this. So I'm guessing that I'm doing a pretty like... Um, shimmer look. It's like not a lot of darker mattes in this either, so we will try. And I have some new brushes that I think I want to try. And how is the lighting? Might be good. Uh, that is from Flair. It's a Swedish brand and I have some of the brushes, but now I bought some more. And I I know that you're supposed to wash your brushes before you use them. I can honestly say that I do not do that. And I think you are a lot with me that doesn't. And did I say that I was going to do a get ready with me? I can't remember, but I'm doing a get ready with me. And this is not like a favorite video for October. It should have come up one, but it's not going because October was not good for me. Um, our cat Elsa, she passed away in October and for the first like two weeks I felt like shit and yeah so I'm just going to do a get ready with me now talk a little bit I might put in some like favorite I have had but I'm just going to sit down talk to you talk a little bit about December and talk a little bit about other things And I was first planning on like talking about what I have planned for next year, but I'm going to do one get read with me about that in December because if you didn't know, I'm going to try to put up one video each day of December. So I need to have like as many ideas as possible because it's 31 days in December. Oh, I can't have my Pepsi there. And with Flair, I really like how they come, but it's so much packaging. So you open like this and you take them out and they are glued to this paper. And I don't like know what I want to do with these. I guess you can have your brushes in there, but it's not going to happen. I have so many other things to have my brushes in. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to take out some of these, but yeah, okay. And I already primed and now we're going to try to do something with this. I have no freaking idea. And I don't think you are super interested in this palette. I can write down in the description which colors I'm using. So if you really want to know, it's there. So, okay. How is it with all of you? With me, it is... It is okay. I... I was thinking about the whole situation a couple of days ago with the pandemic and everything and like a part of me was like what if it's never going to be normal again? Is this like the new life? Because I am... It, is strange to say, it feels strange to say that I am okay with this whole thing, but yes, my life has changed a little bit, but not 
as much as I think it has done for others because I'm still going to work and my boyfriend is still going to work as well. I we in Sweden haven't had like a lockdown and uh, now we have restrictions uh, but it's nothing like you can get a fee or anything if you break the restrictions it's just like they're trying <laughs> to uh, don't force people to do anything but like come with recommendations and I, if it would ever happen in Sweden that we're going to have restrictions, I think that my work is, I'm, I am an essential worker, I think, because I work at a warehouse where we ship out grocery, to gross food to grocery stores, and I guess that is count as an es essential worker, because grocery stores are still going to be open and they need things to put in the, in the store so people can buy food and my boyfriend is not an essential worker but he works outside and he works alone um, I have no idea what his work is on English it's not a contractor I think he's not that he works with I could look this up but I'm not going to we can just leave it with he's not an essential worker but I think he still could work because he works outside and he doesn't like I'm in touch with people that much but I don't know how it is with things like that but yeah, I was like a little bit afraid, like, what if this is the new normal? Because I don't want this. And the thing is that I can't do. I have some friends that don't live in the same city as me. And I can't see them because you're not supposed to travel that far. And also my family lives, it takes like around five hours to drive up to my parents and you're not supposed to do that and also my parents are a little bit older so yeah and that I think is the most Now I don't even know what I'm talking about. That I think is the most hard thing with this. That I'm not I'm able to go home to visit my parents. But other than that. My life is going on kind of like normal. I don't do that much. I realize. <laughs> but I think if I wouldn't have gone to work. It would have made such a big difference. And also if my boyfriend didn't go to work. And we are not like that worried that we're going to lose our work. And I think that makes such a big difference. Difference. Then it might do for people that are like, maybe got a new job, work in stores like clothing stores and in restaurant business. I think they are the ones that are going to suffer from this pandemic like it doesn't feel like I'm in a talking mood and I don't know why because I've been like because I'm filming this on a Saturday <laughs> I'm like like yesterday when I came home from work I'm like tomorrow I'm going to sit down do a super long dread with me and it's going to be so fun play with this palette and I'm doing it and I'm like okay what am I even going to say but okay I was going to talk about December and yes, I am planning on doing, I, I think I'm going to name it 31 Days of Red. And what I mean with that, because I, I haven't started to plan this that much yet. Because as for right now, I have written down some ideas that I have. 
I have 31, no, 21 ideas so far for videos that I'm going to do. And I know that I will get some new palettes that I want to try and do like first impressions as well. And I really hope that I will be able to do this. And my 31 days of red is going to be like, I can have a red lipstick and then it's, I just want something red each day. So it doesn't mean that I'm going to do a red eye look or something like that every day. And some days I just might do a talkie video, I get red with me, a tag video or something. But in my videos I want something to be red in all the videos. I will try. And I have decided to not be so hard on myself because if I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. And I will just leave it like that because I don't want it to be... I want it to be fun for me to do 31 days, but I'm also like <laughs> a bit realistic that it might not happen. And if it's just going to be like 15 days, it will be like that. And I am not going to allow myself to feel bad about it. So I will try my best. And if I fail, I fail. Or if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I still need to be realistic and I am working full time. Ooh, I'm swatching here and you can't see what I'm swatching. Oh, is it pressed glitter in this? Why color poop? So yeah, if it doesn't get to 31 videos, it's not going to be that. And I hope that you are okay with that and that is also one thing I want to talk about I feel so bad and I feel ashamed of this sometimes when I look at some of my videos I'm like okay I'm going to do this I'm going to do that I'm going to do that and I start series after series and then it just I don't do it I don't do enough parts like my palette of the month I stopped doing that in August I think and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't for fulfill that I didn't do it for the whole year and I guess that you don't care and that you understand me but it's like for myself I feel like a failure and I hate that feeling and I know that I need to stop that I know that I need to realize that I work full-time with another job this is a hobby I don't get paid at all, I don't earn any money at all from my YouTube channel and I need to like, even though I think this is so fun, I can't make this, this shouldn't make me feel bad. And that is a thing I want to be good at next year, to not feel um, like a failure and okay it sounds maybe like this is something that I think about often sometimes yes <laughs> and often no I okay I, I know that you love that I am personal in my get ready with me like my get ready with me is some of my most viewed videos and I know that a lot of you feel the same way I do. And I love that I can be someone um, that makes somebody else feel better. Or like, it's good to know that others feel the same way you do. But at the same time, sometimes I don't know how personal I want to be. But okay. As I have talked a little bit about this before, I have suffered from anxiety since I got my first panic attack when I was 17 and I was 100% sure that I was going to die and my anxiety was like super bad for a while when I was around 19, 20, 19 to 20 and it still is. Sometimes it really like holds me back from things that I want to do. Not that often anymore, but I also has come to realize that who I am as a person, 
I am an introvert. I really, really am. And I, for a couple of years, I didn't want to realize that, but like, I love to be at home. I love to do this. I love to like stay on the couch for a whole day. I love to do that and I I can't be around too many people and I've started to like okay I want to make new friends I want to make so many new friends but I don't know that or <laughs> I know that I can't like keep up a friendship because I don't have the energy or okay I can keep up friendships but I can't keep up like having 20 friends I don't work like that because I just can't and <laughs> that also makes me if I don't answer comment it's not because I don't care or I don't see it it's just that that is just how I work like my friends that I've had for over 20 years can send me a um, message or something and it takes me like a week to answer that's just how I work and sometimes that is really hard when you are like on social media the and like on Instagram I get comments and I'm like okay I'm going to answer that later and you know later never comes and that is just how I work and now when I think it was maybe four years ago less than that maybe like two years ago I realized that this is just how I work. <laughs> I'm not one of these people that can have like 15 friends and go out each and every weekend. And that is completely okay. okay this color. It is this one. This little one. This was amazing. And I just realized that that is not who I am. I'm not work like that. And I am so happy that I have met friends that is that works as the same as me. And sometimes it's like <laughs> at work I'm really social and I it takes kind of much energy for me some days some days I am completely fine but some days when I came home from work and have been super so social on work it's like have drained the whole of me and I don't have any energy to film even though I really like my colleagues and I see them as my friends but if you are an introvert, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not that I don't like friends uh, or my colleagues. It's just like it drains me to be social, to be happy. And if you are an extrovert, you feel the exact opposite. And then I think it's really hard for you to get what I mean. But if you are an introvert as well as I am, I think you know exactly what I mean. Okay, so as normal, my Get Ready With Me is all over and I love this shade. I was going to do something that is not that like in your face makeup. Because I'm going to do my first video for December after this. I like realized I need to start pre-filming now. So for the next week, today it's the 14th of November I think yes and I like okay I need to start do my December videos now because I'm going to edit and I'm going to upload and I need to be like one week or two weeks ahead of myself and I still want videos to come up on my channel at the same time maybe this is a stupid idea I have no idea but for the next week I have four videos already planned I am going to upload the last one, or did I do it? No, I have one video left to upload. And then I'm going to... I don't know. So maybe this week... The, when is this even coming up? I'm planning on having this up in two weeks. 
I don't know. We will see. It might. Or no. This has to come up. <laughs> Do you see? I need to plan this. I need to write down which video is going up what day. Oh my god, this is going to be so much. So this video will come up sometime. But I think I want to have it up before. But I have, want to have like an intro for my December and the first video that is going up in December is going to be a collab. And it feels strange to talk about my December video in a collab because I want to give more to the person that I'm collabing with than to my own things. So... Maybe I should ask the person I'm collabing with. Okay, I don't know. I have to try to figure this out. And do you hear that I need to plan this? I was talking to my boyfriend and... He believes in me that I can do this. And that feels good because I am not. And I said to him, I'm like, maybe I need to start planning soon. And he was like... Yes, yes you really do. And I, <sighs> okay, I don't know how I'm going to plan. And now, because I don't know when this video is coming up, I can't ask you for like any tips because I, this might, I need to figure this out earlier than this video is coming up. Oh my God. I think I just got a little bit stressed. Why am I doing this to myself? I have no idea. But I'm just, I'm going to make this. And was this get rid of me even more confusing than they usually are? Okay, I, when I looked at this palette, I'm like, okay, this is not what I want it to be. But like this look. And actually, I used this one in my outer corner. I think it's called Mission. And... It has some sparkles, but it's just like in here. It's nothing on my eyes, so it has a dark matte. So that is good. So I guess it's going to be the same with this one. So that's good. And I, I really like this. It's kind of neutral, and I wanted it to be kind of neutral. I just want this mission to go a little bit higher up and maybe like take it in my crease a little bit longer and also with like having trying to have a video up each day in december i need to understand that i can't like film and edit and upload a whole of december before december even starts but i think if i'm just like a week ahead one and a half week i think that is going to work I really hope. I will really try. And okay, do you know what? I really like this. I think it looks really good. I just want them to go together a little bit more. So maybe this palette wasn't as boring as I thought it was in the beginning. And you know what, I actually think that we can do the base together as well. Because I have this brush that is... Uh, I have this brush that is foundation and concealer. And as you may know, I don't like to use brushes for my foundation. But I might... Ooh, this was super soft. But I might go to try this. Okay, so I'm going to take away the fallouts and then come back. So, and now I'm going to do something and I don't know if this is stupid because I'm going to first use this poreless putty prime from e.l.f. on my nose because I have got like large pores on my nails. And then I want to use face oil in the rest of my body. And I think I need to like stay away from my nose then so it doesn't fuck it up. Because I've, 
I have very, or I have a dry skin and in the win winter it is more dry. And I wanted to try like priming oil, but they are freaking expensive. And I was thinking about buying the Smashbox one. And it feels like some people love it and some people just hate it. And I was like, like it costs a lot of money. So I did buy this instead. This is from Beauty Act. That is Kix, the beauty store I talk about like always. It's their own brand. And this is, this is a dewy, dewy skin priming primer oil. And I really been loving this with my Stay Naked foundation because this works perfectly during the summer. I bought this in the summer and it worked so good, but I felt now it feels a bit drying. Um, when I am more dry, so I wanted to buy an oil and... Or more... Yeah, I wanted to buy an oil. And I found this and this works. And I have like a pimple that is coming in my... Okay, I'm not going on my nose. That is coming in my forehead and... It's hard to stay away from your nose. And I like, if I have, and there I was on my nose. And I'm like, if I have a pimple, I have a pimple. The only thing with this one, it hurts like hell. Like even when I touch it, it hurts like hell. And I still have like one here. And I know exactly why I have them. I just hate them. Like, I'm not ashamed. I'm not covering it when I go to work. But I hate when they are, like, so sensitive. When you touch it, it hurts. And I can't, like, stop touching it. And this one, this was, like, only from the inside. Like, before it even showed. I was, like, so... I thought like, what have I done? Because every time like when I took my moisturizer and serum on my face, I'm like, it's hurting like hell over here. And then like three days later, I started to get red and then it was a big pimple and it hurted like hell, but it wasn't like, it was so deep. But now I guess it's, it's fading away, but it hurted like hell. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit for a little while. And yeah, I'm going to try this. I don't know how this will go. Because I have noticed, I have always loved to use uh, sponges, but I... The sponges I've tried the latest <laughs> with my foundations and stuff, because I started to use the tinted skin wheel from NYX. It was like hard to get it was like the sponge was sucking it up, so when I got over, if I put it here, it looked good, but then I like went over with the sponge again, it's like taking it away or moved it around, and I don't want that, so maybe with the brush it works better, I don't know. This might be a big fail. It just feels like this is a little bit too small. As you hear, I have never been a foundation brush kind of girl, like never. Never ever because I don't I think it looks streaky, but maybe it's just because I never found a really good uh, foundation brush and I know I Was like it's a foundation supposed to be like that When I started with foundation and then I tested a sponge and it was like Sent from above and I was like how can anybody want to use a brush, but I'm going to try So okay, it is been here for a while now. Maybe it should be longer. I don't know. So I take the now. I don't know how much I need and how to do this because when I have my sponge, I put it. This is like I don't know anything about makeup right now, and I know that like a sponge eat your foundation up. When you love a sponge, you love a sponge. Okay, I think this is way too much. I'm going in with this now. I'm a little bit nervous, yes. Mm. 
And how are you even supposed to do this? Are you supposed to tap it or like swirl it? Okay, I don't think it looks streaky, but I think I have too much foundation here. The only thing it feels like it's a little bit... Mm, I don't know. I think the feeling of a sponge to my face, that feels, oh my pimple, <laughs> that feels really, oh this hurts like hell, uh, it feels a little bit, it feels nice, I don't think that this feels nice, not in the same way at least, and I know that you are supposed to, I need to wash this brush, after this I guess. The one thing I though liked with this brush it is it is soft but doesn't feel too soft and yeah maybe I shouldn't do a review on a foundation brush when I like never use foundation brush but it's like soft but not too soft and it isn't like scratching on my skin anymore and it is small so I can like get on the side of my nose without poking it in my eye and I can go around my nose but okay how do I like this? I have no idea is it more courage now than it usually is? And this, okay, I don't know if I look streaky or not. Okay, okay. I just need a palette so I can look closer on myself. Do you know what? I think this look good. Maybe not the best work on my nose, but this pimple I don't know if it is any more coverage I just need to take away the foundation on my septum ring piercing problem maybe I should take a little bit more here on my neck or maybe I shouldn't done that. No, I have done that. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look streaky, but I don't know. Do I want to go over with the sponge? Should you do it or shouldn't? Sh sh are you supposed to? It sounds like I never have worn foundation. Okay, I don't think I need to take a sponge over this. <laughs> Have I found a foundation brush that I like? But it feels like this is a size that is not come. Okay, I don't know anything about foundation brushes. It's losing some results. Taking out feet this far. Um, I don't know, it feels like this, okay, I don't have many foundation brushes, but it feels like this has a little bit of a different shape. It is like a little bit flat here, so it looks like this. Yeah, it worked really good. It's the only thing, I feel like my skin is a little bit irritated, I don't know. It's a lot of things, I don't know. But yeah, I think I liked the result and it didn't, I didn't use as much foundation that I usually use with my sponge, so that is good. And <laughs> I think I look like pale ghost. I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to use this, the other side of the brush and 
I have noticed this when I'm doing my base on camera. It's like the camera is like, what are you doing? And like the settings or the white balance or something is like going crazy when I put on my uh, foundation. Okay, this side was really good as well. Maybe this is going to be my new thing. And also I think it's because, no, it doesn't look like I have, I don't have any eyebrows, I don't have any mascara, and I don't have any cons contour or anything. I guess that also makes me look a little bit more like flat in my face and that is not a good look. I really, I really do like this brush, but I guess I need to wash it before I use it another time. I don't know. I need help. <laughs> so, is there anything more I want to talk about? I don't know. I'm just now thinking about it's going to be hard to edit in this video because this is going to be long. I'm just setting my concealer. And I have finally bought a new mascara. I have used the Essence one. I don't even know what it's called. And this one, you better work. And this was... Okay, I don't think the concealer worked really good because I'm a little bit dark. Okay, do you know what? I don't care. This doesn't look good. What? I feel like I'm worse than before on my concealer. This has never happened before. <laughs> Kid, you know what? I don't even care. I have this one. This is the cheapest mascara I've ever bought. And it doesn't, when you like listen to it, it doesn't look or it doesn't sound dry. But it's like hard to get it on my eyelashes. So I think I need to declaring this. And I bought my favorite worth the hype from NYX. So I'm going to use this today. Finally. Okay, I'm now going to set my face with a little bit of powder. And I have noticed something with myself. And I don't know why I do this. Like the worth the hype mascara from NYX. It's like my favorite mascara. But I want to buy other mascaras for some reason. Even though I think I have met my perfect match. I don't know why I do that. I like do that with some skincare as well. I have like a make or I have tried oh my pimple. <laughs> the cleansing balm from Body Shop and it's like the best thing ever to remove the makeup that I've ever tried. But still I buy it from time to time, but then I'm like, okay, I can find something better. But you know what? I love that, so I don't know why I keep trying new things. I don't know. I just am like that, and I have no idea why. Okay, we are taking a new brush again. So I'm going to use this one, the Duo Contour Brush. I don't know which side... Which I like the best. And I'm going to take this. I don't know what I'm going to use for blush actually. And it's a little bit strange for shape for a contour brush. It's like the foundation brush. But smaller. And if you want to see some amazing contour. You are the wrong shape. Maybe I can use the bigger brush on the back. You have come to the wrong channel. Because then he on the shell we do a light light contour. Should I test the bigger side? I I think I can like this one as well. I don't do it right now, but I think I can. And now I need to find highlighter and a blush that I want to use. I'm going with some old favorites. So for blush I'm going to take Down Boy from the Balm. And this feels like 
a normal get read with me because in the beginning I it feels like I always have a lot to talk about and then when I'm coming to my base it's like okay I don't have anything more to talk about so yeah I don't know what to say are you excited for December or is the pandemic fucking it all up for you and like it's going to be so strange to see how Christmas will be this year. We have like no plans. I'm taking some days off and for New Year's I'm going to work again. Okay, on New Year's Eve I'm not working. But the 1st of January, the day after, I'm going to work and I start at 6 in the morning. And I've done it for... I did it this year, or, yeah. And I don't care that much because I'm not a partying girl. The only thing is, do you know how hard it is to go to bed on New Year's Eve? Do you know how much fireworks and stuff it is? It is, like, impossible <laughs> to go to sleep before, like, 1 o'clock. But I think I, if I finish the eyes and then I go off and do my eyebrows and then I come back to you say goodbye. So I think I'm going to take this one on my lower lash and this one. And this <laughs> I never do it in this order. I always do my base. Okay, this is maybe not a good brush for below my eyes. Not with that color at least. Maybe I could try this brush. I always do my base, do my brows, and then do my lower lash, but... Like, who wants to look at me when I'm doing my eyebrows? Nobody. Not even myself. But I've actually found a new... Favorite... Uh, um, eyebrow? Mascara. This is a fixing fiber brow mascara from Beauty Act. It's a new Swedish brand from Kix, the same brand as this priming oil. I love that. I have found a problem with brow mascaras um, or brow setters. And it is that I usually take the blonde one because I think top is usually too like ashy for me. But like some blonde ones, they are so freaking warm. I have the one from uh, Glossier. I don't like it. It is such a warm blonde and it doesn't look good. Because in my the powder I use for my eyebrows is from Anastasia and that is in top. And this is cold, but not like ashy. And it looks good, but I need to set my brows, or I want to set them to have them so they are going to stay up the whole day. And when I put... Okay, this was not a good under eye. What the hell did I do? Can I fix this? Um, when I... Maybe not. And then when I put that one from Glossier on top, it's like they make them so warm. No, I just hate it, but this one from Beauty Act does not. And they are in blonde, both of them. Okay, I think I actually really like this look. It do need <laughs> some eyebrows and it do need some mascara and something in my waterline. But like other than that, this is my... And this is my, what is it even called? This is my neutral thing. And I like actually to do these kinds of makeup looks in my Get Red With Me's because I don't know how many of you that is like a Get Red With Me. I don't want to do something super fun and colorful because I know that this is going to be a long video, and what have I done here? I have my dry patches returned. 
like in full force on this eye. I hate it. Um, and I think that some of you might just have this on in the background. I love to listen to Get Ready With Me so when I'm doing like my bass or when I'm doing the dishes or something. So I'm not trying to do like super fun looks if you want to watch me. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows, put on my loved Worth the Hype mascara again. I missed it so much. And something in my waterline and maybe a... Uh, Maybe I'm going to um, use the lip together with you. I don't know yet. We will see. But I will fix all the rest and then I'll come back. So, here I am finished. I don't know about the lipstick because it feels like it's a little bit like a coal toned orange. And my eyes feel kind of warm at least. But for my what line I used Get Paid from Colourpop on my lips. I took this Lethal Lipstick in Quest, I think it is. Yes, and this is my Get Red With Me look. My first impression with a California Love from Colourpop. So it's first impression Get Red With Me. And I like this look. I feel like when I look at this palette, I didn't thought it was going to be like this. So... It surprised me this palette and the one thing I don't like, it feels like this El Captain is suppressed glitter but it doesn't say but it's, it's like, this is the swatch and uh, yeah, I think I never dare to touch it because it's all over. Already now, I don't want it to be all over my face and eyes. But other than that, I I think the one thing that was like a little bit off, or not off, but... Okay, are you a little bit crooked? Uh, the one thing that was a little bit... One thing I don't like that is, the, that is in this palette is like this mission i think this one was well and this one as well they look a little bit shimmer because it is like shimmer on top but when you blend it out it's not there anymore and what i know they put like shimmers to it because it's easier to blend or something i don't know if that is correct but i i don't like when they do that because i want to know how it will look on my eyes but i like the look I'm happy that I bought this palette actually. Like this shimmer is what I have in here and it is looks so good on my eyes. So I really like that. And yeah, I really hope you like this Get Red With Me. And I hope that I will make it through December with one video each day. If, if it is something special you want to see, we'll see when this comes up. But I don't think I'm all done with the December videos whenever this is coming up. So please let me know. I have things planned and I think I can fill up the month. I really hope. So I should stop now. Start planning for December. Because I need to do that for once. But yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!